fucking know. I don't know uh, what exactly we're going to be focusing on in this video. But, but, I think that, um... Oh, yeah, I'm making this on stream, by the way. So, if anyone, on, if anyone in chat wants to say um, hello, you can say hello. But, I think that this video is probably going to be geared towards people in the gold plat d1 range trying to get masters like heart like heart like you're hard stuck bro if you're hard stuck and you just want to like you just want to like figure out how to not be hard stuck also if you like want to play meta comp and just climb it's gonna be a challengers uh, is a game where i play challengers tour first on chicken little okay and um this is like most recent game here and i'm gonna teach you guys like um kind of like how i think uh in terms of like the uh like the uh basically I'm just gonna go through the game and explain my decision making, and hopefully, um, you guys will be able to uh, understand what you do differently and what I do differently and why I do things the way I do. Okay, and that, and if you're like if you're like below like uh, like uh, like masters, then this should at least give you um, this should like definitely help you get a new perspective on uh, how to play the video game. Okay, so <clears throat> first thing uh, to note is that it's Hearth Home. So the Hearth Home uh, Galaxy is uh, later on four five stage four five. You can um, turn any of your items into a radiant item. Okay. So I think we talked about this last time. But uh, one way to know what radiant item you want is to just go to the stats, click on items, click on radiant. Boom. Don't worry about play rate. Fuck it. Just go like uh, go like go like a place. Okay. So apparently Morello's is OP. Apparently Quicksilver OP. Okay. You just look at this and you say which carry item is like OP. Okay. And then uh, when you when it's time to pop, you just go through all the items you have and pick the one with the highest stats. Okay. <laughs> That's like an easy strat to do. That's an easy easy strat to do. Okay. Um, you can try and play around the uh, Hearth Home. Like let's say you really think Edge of Night is Giga Broken, then you should uh. You should uh plan around like playing challenges edge night okay but in this game okay so we got dropped the warwick warwick is extremely strong early so we decided to play the warwick with the aurelia pair we also have cassio pair here we sell the galio for cassio pair one of the reasons why we sell galio for cassio pair is because one um you need to hold these strong one cost pairs in order to build a board that can kill stuff, whether you're win streaking or lose streaking, you need to be able to kill units so you don't lose too much AP, HP, or kill a bunch of units so you can win, right? And uh, Casio is a classic single target DPS, very strong, uh, two star, very strong early game, and feeds into Noxus, which I have a Kled, and Noxus is a good three piece trait early, um, which also feeds into Aurelia because Samira is a challenger, okay? You know, don't, don't, don't worry about this too much, but basically, hold your pairs, sell two stars that suck dick, okay? Kled is in the in the camp of sucks dick but um he's a noxus and so is cassio so we didn't sell him and galio is just demacia okay you don't really care about the invoker part demacio so obviously rewarded for um holding one cost pairs right it's important that you hold uh valuable one cost pairs and valuable two cost units okay so in this case this vi pretty worthless you might think that vi plus renekton's bruiser but once you try it out as your front line you'll realize that that shit sucks right um, and in this case, if we look at our items, you should be thinking about uh, when 2 1 comes around, you should think about do I want to plan on win streaking? Win streaking means I'm going to level, play strongest board, slam items, pick an augment to help win streak. Okay? You must do all these things if you want to win streak. <clears throat> okay? Or two, not play for streak, which is make econ. Okay? Um, so in this case, Win streaking means uh, you can slam uh, strong early game items. You have two star units and or crazy synergies, um, and you have like a good a good board. Okay, and so uh, for our augment choices here, it's pretty much never sentinel spirit just for the fact that uh, I Ionia blows right now. If you guys want me to show you a game where I played a vertical Ionia to a top four, even though it's terrible, um, I can show you that. Just let me know in the comments. Uh, I had a little creative game earlier. And then I, I don't like too healthy, although um, in the past, people used too healthy to win streak. I think that uh, I'm, I'm not a fan of too healthy, to be honest. So I, I rule that. And then I've been trying out, uh, this is the first game I tried out Bard. Um, and I think Caretaker's favor is really good, but we'll get to that. So definitely get rid of Sentinel Spirit. I don't know why I'm even um, considering it here. Um, okay, so one thing to look at here is um, uh, do we want a win streak or lose streak? Okay, and I have Spark. Jewel Gauntlet to make. Okay, QSS is not very strong early, but Spark Jewel Gauntlet, both both very strong early, I would say. Especially uh, Jewel Gauntlet with Cassio, 
does a lot of damage. Spark um, is a good uh, early early source of damage as well, and it also scales into AP Comp because it gives you Shred. So I'm definitely gonna play for Win Streak here, I think. So it's not what doesn't kill you. This is like you're gonna five lose streak, okay? And you could say is you could consider not today. You're just gonna hard force Challenger um, and play not today. But the thing is, the Edge of Night early is not that good. So it's not very good for. Um, you 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 could take this and say you're claiming you're gonna play Yasuo no matter what, but I think it's important to play flexible, okay? And if you take this, you pretty much have to play Yasuo, okay? And uh, forcing yourself to play one line is not really good TFT because of course, what if you don't hit Yasuo, right? What if what if you don't hit challenges? Like, like what if what if your items don't 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 work? Like we got two one. You really want to commit to one? Not really, okay? Um, you only commit to one if it's like really insane. Um, like it basically cannot go wrong. So I, I take caretaker's favor here. I think. Um, and I'm like, okay, um, I'm just gonna try and play for streak. I also hit the uh, this this Aurelia, so I'm like, holy shit, how do I, how do I level here and play for streak? I also hit Samira. <laughs> I'm like, so this is interesting. So here, I you really want to level and play your strongest board possible and play for streak. The problem was I was like, how do I play my strongest board? I need a fucking, I need a fucking level here to play the Kled, but I also want to hold Warwick. Warwick is really important um, because, uh, he's really strong, he, he's, like, one of the best two-cost units for, uh, Challenger, feeds into, like, Juggernaut, like, Ionia set, you know, that kind of stuff, so I actually don't end up leveling here, low-key, it's so Kled play the Samira, fuck Kled, right, so, um, it was definitely so Kled play Samira, but you really want to try and find a way to level here, I was trying to find a way to level without selling Kled, but it was not possible, so, yeah, I just slam everything, try and win, I'm pretty sure we lose, because we didn't level, <clears throat> yep, didn't level. So it's a level diff. My bad. Okay, that's fine. Um, so here, um, I'm like, okay, I feel like, you know, even though, okay, th obviously we fucked up two one, we should have leveled. But now I uh, I level here, and I play the Noxus that I was looking for to help buff my two star Cassio, right? And Challenger, which buffs my two star Aurelia. And this board is totally fine. We're just playing, we're just holding this Warwick pair, right? The Warwick comes in next, and then uh, here this is this is a very comfy spot, right? We have strong, we have a strong board, um, and we're committed to playing some kind of AP here because I slam the Spark. You can you can you can slam Jewel Gauntlet. Um, and not slam a spark, but then you're playing around a cloak, which is not very good, right? You slam a spark, play around a glove. Glove is very flexible. Um, cloak kind of kind of terrible. Okay, cloak can really only make like a spark, and like maybe a BT. Okay, every cloak item kind of sucks right now. Okay, um, that's why people don't really like cloak. <laughs> no one, no one wants multiple cloaks. You only want multiple cloaks if like it's a really AP, AP heavy lobby. You can make like a D claw. Um. Yeah, usually you're trying to kill off cloaks. <clears throat> here you can hold whatever. It doesn't matter what you hold here. Like you can hold. You're like you. Okay, so one thing you you can know here is like you're like gold, platinum, diamond. You're like, oh shit, Maokai, two Maokais, bro. That's a Maokai two coming. Um, yeah, but you're already playing this uh, Aurelia two and this Noxus. You're not playing a Maokai over this stuff. It's worse, right? So you pretty much never hold the Maokai. Um, just just to give you insight on why I'm not holding a Maokai pair. Who cares? Who cares about this, right? Um. This shit sucks, okay? Um, anyways, uh, here, um, if you are giga winning, you can consider leveling, but I cannot level here because I can only uh, sell these two. That's seven gold. I wanted to, I wanted to, to level and keep streaking. Even though I lost 2-1, I'm kind of down, low-key, but I can't do that, so we just pre-level, okay? Because we have something to play next. We're not weak. We're not playing for lose streak. We uh, want to uh, push levels and play, play good units and uh, keep trying to win, right? So here, uh, also, if we want to examine the shop, we can go through our choices. Akshan blows right now. I don't know if you know, but he sucks. Uh, Tristan is not playable unless you're Tristan reroll. Malzahar is uh, Sorks, which is in line with Spark, because Spark means we're imply implies we're playing AP. But as you can see, we have no Sorks, so it's pretty impossible to play a Malzahar here, right? Because uh, you're not going to get rid of Casio too. And then we talked about Maokai, and there's an extra Aurelia. We can remake Aurelia, so we should probably hold Aurelia. Um, because if we're playing challengers, we should look to, uh, remake Aurelia. Usually, Aurelia takes your tank items, then you pop them off, put them onto set, or maybe, uh, high roll Shen. Um, so here you're gonna see me pre-level. I definitely hold Aurelia, right? There's no way I don't hold Aurelia here. Um, <clears throat> we hold Aurelia, right? Oh. We're just gonna skip past this. Anyways, let's look at our carousel here. We're, uh... <laughs> we're, uh, one, two, we're third pick here. If we want to examine what's on the carousel, um... 
the AP is very good because uh, it's synergizing our... Uh, we get a dual gauntlet with a spark. It's pretty ideal in any AP comp, Invoker, Sorix. Um, can even play Challenger from here. Spoilers, we did play Challenger, uh, like I said in the intro. This is a little bit legal. I get a uh, dual gauntlet. I get dual gauntlet spark um, with Cassio. I mean, I, I, I don't know. This, is pretty, this spot's pretty insane. So the question you guys, uh, the, the questions you guys might have here is, how do you take this into the freest top four of your life? Okay, and I'm gonna show you how. Because you guys, are, are you guys like just like in league? A lot of you guys do not have a problem getting to this point. Okay, maybe some of you guys have a problem getting to this point because uh, you like hold wrong units early game. Okay, but a lot of you guys know how to get to this point. Okay, the question is, how do you take this to like a top two? Okay, so again, we're going to examine every time. One of the best habits to implement, if you didn't know, um, if you never watched any of my league videos, I always, always, always uh, um, teach habit stacking in order to improve at the game. Okay, so what that means is, we're going to do on tangent here, pause the video, um, is that uh, you're not looking to think harder when you play the game. You're actually trying to think less and play better than... Uh, oh, 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 okay, so what I mean by that is you're trying to automatically uh, make decisions like subconsciously without having to think about it. And your autopilot, that's your autopilot, right? You're trying to make your autopilot as good as possible. Okay? Like, for example, I can close my eyes and play blind probably uh, better than like you guys in gold. Okay? Like, if you just tell me, like, what units there are and what I have on board. Like, I can, I can just not think. Like, I can watch Netflix and plays better than you guys playing in gold and playing for your life. Agreed? How is that possible? My autopilot is better than yours. And it's because of habit stacking. Habit stacking is you add a habit on top of uh, what you already do in game to improve your gameplay. Okay? So, the most important habit stacking to do is every time a new shop rolls around, examine every single character in the shop, their traits, and what you're playing currently. Okay, so what do we have with Synergy? We have Norelia, Norelia Remake, because I already have Norelia here. Don't think Norelia 3. I know a lot of people like gold, plat, diamond, like, oh shit, Norelia 3. No, you, that, 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 you, don't, you don't care about that shit, okay? <laughs> You're not three-starring something unless it's very um, specific to your comp, usually speaking, okay? It's not Norelia 3, it's an Norelia Remake. Cho'Gath, Void Bruiser. Any Void Bruiser here? No. Yordle Gunner, any Yordle Gunner here? No. Thriller Deadeye, any Thriller Deadeye here? No. Noxus, Strategist, Sorcerer, any, any of these? Yes. In fact, what is it? It's Noxus. Okay, now, now is these three Noxus is what you're playing. Can I replace Cassio? Can I replace Samira? Because it's uh, Samira Aurelia. So then it's only replace Kled. Is it better than Kled? Now is a knowledge check. Okay, now we finally get to the point where it's knowledge check. A lot of times, um, I mean, I, I think you guys have a good amount of knowledge if you watch like high low streamers and stuff. You guys have a like, good, no good amount of knowledge, but you, get, you, you play the game poorly. It's because you didn't even get to this knowledge check yet, right? Okay, so this is a knowledge check. Is Swain better than Kled? The answer is yes. Okay, you saw that Kled shit. That shit sucks. Um, so by Swain, uh, over Kled, and then by 2 5, usually you want to make 10. Okay, so we saw everything we're not using. This, this is garbage. Um, this is Soraka garbage. Saw that immediately. Um, we're not playing any of this stuff, right? Um, and then you're like, okay, why don't you hold Malzahar and Oriana? Is because uh, you, this this hitting like Mouse two Ori two, we can play it, but um, you, you can make you should make you should make an argument that I should hold uh, Mouse or Ori or something here instead of this Soraka. And then I'm like, oh, thinking is this better? No, it's not better. And then you don't um, you don't um, oh yeah, we level here. Um, or sorry. We pre-leveled, so we put in the, the Warwick. It was a bit of a bug. It wasn't showing that I was minus a unit. Um, you don't open this um, You don't open this thing. I, I was about to open it. But you, there's literally no point in opening it until you can see what items you can get off the Krugs, right? So, <clears throat> anyways, May 10. We have an Aureli remake. I'm already thinking I'm playing Challengers. It, it, it doesn't have to be Challengers, but it is some form of AP. So, this... Our items, our early game items, have now locked us into... Um, AP lines. We cannot play AD from here. I repeat, the items determine your gameplay. You cannot, I don't care if you get six Aphelios, you're not playing Aphelios from here, okay? I don't care if you get nine Aphelios. Okay, maybe you get nine Aphelios, like maybe, I don't know. Um, but we're not playing Aphelios from here, okay? The AP lines you are restricted to are now Lux, Sorx, Vertical Sorx, Lux Azir, Invoker Karma, and Kaisa, okay? It's just uh, any AP carry that can use a jewel gauntlet, okay? That is your. That is what you're limited to. It could be Gwen. It could be Gwen. Like, who, who knows, okay? It's just know that these are the lines you're restricted to now, 
okay so uh a lot of you guys are also like oh i also only one trick a comp um yeah you 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 can you can if you want to get if you want to get better you need to learn how to play multiple lines okay you cannot just like i only play invokers from here okay that's not that's not that's not that's not how it works okay um you're like 10 years away from an invoker board right so these are good invoker items don't get me wrong if you get dropped three karmas and 10 shens we can play invoker but um uh, you cannot just force invoker, okay? You just play where you get. You and then you, you have a main line you want to play, and then you play towards that line, and then um, based on what you hit, you commit, okay? So um, here uh, here you can see that uh, uh, we are about to sell. We don't. I mean, you, you can make this if you want, but we're about to sell to make twenty. Like the Aurelia remake is important, but it's not as important as making interest. This interest is extremely important just like streak why is interest why do high elo players care about streak and interest so much this early game money translates to infinite late game money because your eventual goal is you want to roll down on like level seven level eight right um to get to get access to the stronger uh stronger units so if you don't make 20 here you're uh, high key trolling right so anyways um fast forward okay that's kind of a high roll um you just make that right <clears throat> I don't know why I don't I, you just make it right and then here we're like trying to figure out how to play the set set and work or um they're juggernauts they're usually a good pairing together all right let's fast forward here let's get the item drops um okay so uh bow tier chain so now you're thinking okay this is a static shiv I could play a zier or I could play a zier lux dual gauntlet goes on lux or a zier and then static shiv goes on a zier and then chain can just be a tank item um, and then, uh, you can also think, uh, challengers where, uh, this could be a Titans and this could be a Shoujin, right? Uh, it's just pretty much play whatever you like. And then if you want to play, uh, invoker, this could be, this doesn't look very good. Invoker doesn't really, really need tears or bows, but, uh, I guess you could do like a, uh, protectors and like a GS very long, like a GS last item. So it really doesn't look like invokers. Okay. Um, Oh, what the fuck? Daniel, what's up, bro? Uh, anyways. <laughs> anyways, uh, we opened it. We popped, we popped the thing. And I already have something I want to play in mind. I'm like, oh, I want to play Challenger. But I didn't get, I didn't get my Shoujin here. Sh we need Shoujin Challenger because it's Kaisa, right? Kaisa uses Shoujin and Jewel Gauntlet, her two most important items. And then um, after that, it's like Guard Breaker or whatever. Who knows? Um, so here, we pop this. We're playing for streak. We're win streaking. In your head, you should be thinking, I'm playing for streak. I need to slam something. The question is, what do you want to slam? Okay, so options. Um, we can slam a Hodge. It synergizes with Joe Gauntlet. A lot of people don't like Hodge. Understandable. That shit sucks unless you already have, unless you use it first to win streak or you combine it with IE or Joe Gauntlet, which is in this case. Um, and then uh, other other options here. I mean, you don't want, you don't really want two bows. Uh, you, I mean, you guys, you, I guess you could static and, and Titans into a Zero Nasus, com hard commit, fuck it. Um, you could do that. Uh, you definitely don't want to cloak. That shit sucks. You can't make anything with that. Um, you can make a chain. I mean, a chain for Bramble. Uh, that's not really a win streak item. You could Bramble static. Uh, that doesn't sound very good. Crit, crit is very flexible. Um, goes with uh, goes with uh, Jewel Gauntlet. Well, it's it's most definitely a crit, right? Um, oh, high roll. Haha. -ha. Um, <laughs> okay, so if you're win streaking, you usually want to level to keep streak, right? In general, the level breakpoints to keep streak are three one, right before everyone goes to level six and three five. Okay, um, so here I'm like, okay, how do I play this guy? Obviously, I level, um, and then we get our we get another component, and I'm like, give me a shojin because uh, we want shojin for Kaisa. So I'm like, okay, shojin, and then uh, this last item's guard breaker. It's shojin jewel gauntlet guard breaker, and then fuck it, we want to play for streak. I'm down to make a titans for Yasuo. And why do we want to make a Titans for Yasuo? Isn't Edge of Night like Yasuo's best item? Why am I making a Titans for Yasuo? Um, the reason being is because we can slam the item now to win streak. I don't, I don't slam it here. So another habit stacking, um, another habit you should do for habit stacking is when you want to slam items to streak, wait until the round starts. Okay, first you know what item you want to slam. It has to be, it has to work now, and it has to work later. Like what I mean by that is you don't, don't fucking slam a GS. Um, cause that shit doesn't do anything early game, right? Don't slam like, um, don't slam like a, a, a like a D claw. I mean, okay, okay, sorry, sorry, that's a bad example. Sometimes D you get two cloaks, you can't do anything about it. Um, <clears throat> you don't want to slam like a um, like a last whisper, okay? Like that doesn't do anything early game, right? There are certain items that are better early and better late. Jess, last whisper, better late, right? Does not do anything early game. No items are not all items are created equal. Okay. Uh, anyways, you know what item you want to make? Then wait till the round starts. 
and then say, do I need to slam it to win the round? I did not need to slam the Titans to win the round. Don't slam it, okay? Another uh, habit you need to do is, uh, another habit you need to stack is, uh, do I need to sell? Uh, what can I sell to make interest threshold if I win, okay? And so here, I'm going to sell this set. And you're going to be like, wait, what the heck? Don't you need set for uh, your level 7 board for challengers? Yeah, but level 7 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 rounds away. And that set is going to cost you like 6 gold, okay? You lost 1 gold here, lose 1 gold here, you lose 1 gold here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need interest breakpoint is extremely important. Okay, so it's like uh, basically, will it come back later when I when I roll down on four one? The answer is yes. Okay, so now we have the Kaisa. We high roll a Kaisa. We're all we're looking for a win streak augment that works with Challenger. Is this a win streak augment that works with Challenger? Fuck no. Okay, don't take final reserves. You're trolling. Um, is this a win streak augment that works with Challenger? Low key, this is could be a win streak augment if you have a two star uh, unit you could put it on. Um, does it work with Challenger? Yeah, I mean, you could put on Yasuo, I guess. I don't know. Um, it, it, it seems okay, right? It's, it's, it's workable. Um, is this a win streak augment that works with Challenger? Or an item? Okay, this could be a bust. You could get like, you could get like really, really, really dog shit items. I, I, I'm scared of Orn now, okay? You, you, we, don't, we don't take large forwards. That could be like really bad. Um, is this a win streak augment that works with Challenger? RFC, Rage Blade? Yeah, no one uses RFC. No one uses Rage Blade. Unless you want to like... You're thinking, oh, I'm going to put this on Kalista. Okay, you have no Kalista right now. Remember, we need to play the win streak. So your Distance 3, if you didn't know, um, probably the best augment possible for challengers. So if you didn't know that, uh, you take this. Well, now you do, so you take this. But to logically reason it out, um, if you watched my last video, we talked about how damage scaling works. And challengers have a lot of attack speed, but they don't have innate AP and AD. Okay, Kaisa needs AP to do damage. Yasuo needs AD to do damage. This gives both. Okay, so that's why social distancing is insane. Um, and then we hit a cluster here. Uh, if we want to talk about how we, how we, uh, what's it called? Um, what's our best board here? Okay, I'm trying to fit the cluster in, but you can't because you lose Noxus. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm like, okay, why are we holding this Kalista Swain when it breaks uh, 30 gold? Like, I could I could sell these for 30 gold. Remember, wind streaking, Swain 2 is going to help his wind streak. And Kalista goes on final board. So these are very valuable units to hold, right? Okay. <laughs> We're waiting to see the fight to slam Titans. As you can see, I'm making hella mistakes. But um, yeah. Wait until you see fight to make Titans. I'm pretty sure I needed. I, I, to me, I was like, oh, I need to make Titans to, 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 to keep streak. So I just made Titans. Fuck it. But yeah, you should wait to see. Um, as you can see, we're still streaking. Um, you're like, oh, tempted to sell Kalista and Samira, but Samira too relevant and Kalista. Um, I think Kalista is kind of important, so you should probably hold it. But yeah, let's keep going. You 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 could you could you could convince me that we should sell these. Okay, you could you could convince me to sell these for thirty. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm down not to. Okay. <clears throat> But you, you could convince me. You could convince me. Okay, so we'll go next fight here. Um, pretty sure we beat this guy too. And then uh, we go to Carousel. Again, you can convince me you can sell something. Um, high key. Actually, now I'm being more convinced. They're, 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 <laughs> we lost two gold holding this shit. So actually, maybe we should have sold it. Um, okay, we look at items here. This, we want this to be a guard breaker. Now, playing around this crit is really easy because nobody, uh, like a pro tip, okay? Nobody wants tank items. They all need carry items for direction. Because remember... Your items determine what carries you can play. That's why everyone takes carry items in the in, in all the carousels. That's why everyone who's inting is taking the bows, the APs, um, tiers that they're playing, sorks, swords, rods, whatever. No one wants tank items, okay? Because it doesn't give you direction. But uh, here, this guard breaker is Kaisa's third best last item. If you don't know, if you know, if you don't know items, just like, just like, just go to, just go to the stats, okay? Just, just go to the stats websites, units. You just click on Kaisa, and then you're like, okay, what are Kaisa's best? Item? Boom, right here. Jewel Gauntlet, Shoujin, Guard Breaker. Easy, okay? Um, so yeah, this Guard Breaker is next. Um, and it synergizes really well with Jewel Gauntlet because it gives crit. It makes uh, Kai'Sa... Um, lets Kai'Sa have uh, a higher chance to crit. Um, someone... I was zooming in on the Zero the Bow. No one wants to Zero the Bow. It's kind of crazy. Because uh, <laughs> it's uh, one of the... One of the top comps right now is uh, a zero or a zero lux, seven Shrima or a zero lux, and that was a zero with like a core item on it. So I don't know why no one wanted that. But anyways, we got our item. It's kind of lit. You just slam it because it's pretty much the best item you can make, right? There's no point in greeting because there's no possible item better item with belt in challengers. And at this point, we're committed because we have the Kaiser. Like it, it, eventually, you should just at a certain point when you have enough to uh, top four, you just commit. Okay, so we have enough to top four. I'm just committed to this challenger line. Okay, 
So let's fast forward here. Okay, this video is already too long. Let's fast forward here. We eventually lose streak. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> oh, I, I sorry. Three five is the uh, break point to level, right? So three five is the uh, break point to uh, level and keep streak. And I actually think I made a mistake here. I should. Uh, where's five challenger? I think I'm down to roll um, to hit the Yasuo or anything really to keep streak here. Because uh, level 7 is when challengers spike, right? It's 6 challenger plus Ionia. So I sh I'm down to like kind of roll here. Um, it could have been like a set here. Could have played the set. Uh, I could have played like anything here. Um, I could have hit anything here. So yeah. And why do we sell Swain? Because um, not only did we just lose, but we're at 7. So we're about to... Um, the Swain's not important anymore because we're about to... Uh, sell Swain anyways. He doesn't belong on our level 7 board. So like you guys might be thinking, oh, you can like play a Swain too, right? No, okay? You need to play 6 Challenger plus Ionia, okay? No exception. Um, you're not going to find anything better than that unless you're, uh, I don't know, you you hit like, what, what could you possibly hit here? You fucking hit like 3 Lux, 3 Nasus, 3 Azir, okay? Like it's not happening, okay? Don't worry about it. So here we're just like selling our board. We're just, we're just making, we're just making, uh, we're just making 30 here. Only way to make 30. <laughs> Only way to make 30. Okay, once you lose, so once you're not playing for streak, then you play for econ. I just lost my streak. Play for econ. How do I make 30 here? Sell the shit. Okay. Um, I don't think I had to sell the swing. That was a bit. That was a bit extreme. But you, you get the point, right? Um, once you lose the streak, play for. You don't want to like sell your entire board, but you want to play for. Uh, you don't. You don't want to lose interest to. Um, play a like board that could lose. Okay. So you see, I held a Darius here, but I was like, this does not guarantee me 30, so I sold. Darius with Juggernaut is technically a better board. But if you don't win, you're minus one gold, okay? <clears throat> so, sold that shit. Lost. Totally fine. This is the part where you guys get confused, okay? This is the part where I got confused. I'm 7, I'm 40 gold. It looks, so we're, look, we look like we're close to leveling, right? Guys, it's almost like we can go 8 soon. Um, so, yeah, I can't go 8 on 4 or 5. Yeah, uh, that's how you go 8th, okay? You want to go 8 on 4? You go 8, you go 8th, okay? You can't go 8 unless your level 7 board is strong. Or you have 1,000 gold. You have like 100 gold, you can skip level 7. Like, you can skip level 7, roll 40, 50 gold on 8. That's not, that's not, that doesn't normally, that does that happens in like 15% of my games, okay? Not even that. Um, so yeah, you need to roll on seven. If you ask yourself, why am I six, seven, eight every single game? You're probably weak as fuck on stage four. Okay. I want you to think stage four is late game. Agreed? Mid game is gone. Stage four. Roll. Roll, 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 roll. I am going to roll uh, for my entire comp until I hit this fucking Yasuo. Roll. Roll. We D, 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 D. This Shen is just a placeholder. Okay, I'll hold a center. D D D D D D D D D D. Bro, I'm D D D D D. I got five seconds. D D D D D. Okay, like you, you guys don't understand. You gotta keep rolling. Okay, like don't be afraid of over rolling. Like you're fucking. You're most players. Just like in league, there's a tendency. Okay, in League of Legends, there's a tendency to just use your abilities as soon as possible and miss everything. Okay, in TFT, the tendency is to not roll enough. Okay, you just you just press D, bro. I press D. Okay, until you're strong. Am I strong? No. Keep pressing D. Um, and the, you're just rolling for a specific comp. You can hold other stuff. Uh, but if you're like below masters and you're like struggling, don't hold other stuff. Okay? Just just D for your comp. Okay? For now. For now. So I D for comp. And then now you fix items. Okay, this is a habit stacking. Items come last. Why? Because you can do... You can't... You can't substitute units when they're fighting, obviously, okay? But you can put items on when they're fighting. So that's why you do items last. And then, uh, who do you put this Titans on? This is supposed to go on Yasuo, right? So who's getting sold on this board? Cancel this, cancel this, cancel this, cancel this, cancel this, cancel... This. Okay, it's, it's set up, right? <clears throat> um, we have to play the, um, the, the... It's Senna out for Yasuo, correct? So I'm going to put this Titans on Senna. Why are you not playing Senna on a level 7 board for challenges? Because remember, the board is 6 challenger plus Ionia. Is Senna better than that? Well, Senna does not cast. The challenger board fights really fast. So Senna doesn't even cast before the fight is done, right? Senna casts too late. So I'm like, okay, Senna's just like a temp 7, 11 worker. She's going to be sold, okay? And this is actually not my best board, by the way. Like someone said in chat, it's the Shen over the Callista would be better because I'm 5 challenger, 2 Ionia, right? Shen, Shen over Callista is better here. Um, but yeah, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't do it fast enough. And then, okay, we, we pop this, pop the item. I'm going to say, okay, 
what do I need to do to, uh, what's the best possible item here? And we're thinking about Yasuo items, okay? So like, okay, we need a sword because um, we sword is Edge of Night, right? Or I guess sword could also be BT. It's just the problem with these items is that, um, <laughs> the problem with these items is that uh, uh, I want to Edge of Night, but then I'm stuck with a Zephyr. So if you want to aim Edge of Night, slam Zephyr right now. If you want to aim um, another item, if you want to aim Guard Breaker, slam BT, I guess, okay? Um, uh, <clears throat> and then, uh, uh, okay, so we, we, we sell all this, all this worthless shit that we're not playing. And, uh, something, something, you know, some tip for you guys to know, for you guys want to play Challenger. Set 2 is pretty much your front line until, like, level 8, unless you hit a random Shen 2. So if you have to sell Shen for Econ, you do, because you're not hitting a Shen 2 for free, okay? Um, anyways, let's fast forward. So now, we are thinking, don't, you're not thinking about Streak anymore. Now you're thinking, what's the best possible augment for my Challenger board, Okay. So if you look at this, uh, okay, it's not salvage bin. Our items are pretty good. We're not selling anything. Um, our kites is juiced. Okay, this this is fucking crazy. This is interesting. Okay, normally you want to um, you need combat augments for challenger, and getting a challenger emblem is not exactly that good because you already have six challenger. But in my spot, I actually don't even have six challenger yet um, because uh, I don't have Yasuo. But that's not enough. Um, there's a very specific reason why I ended up taking this, but I would actually not take this because you're, you're going to say, we're going to hit Yasuo, don't worry about it, okay? Um, also, it's not seeing double. I don't know why this is an augment. This shit is so psychopath. Like, this could be, this could be like a thousand bad items. Don't take this, I think. Um, but yeah, this, this is insane, okay? There's a very specific reason. Senna by herself in a challenger board is not that good because she doesn't cast before their fight is over. Senna with a challenger spad is crazy, Okay. Um, you can consider magic wand here. Uh, I mean, buffs, buffs Kaisa specifically, uh, wand, you can, I don't know, AP, you can make a Morello, a spark and a gun blade. It doesn't seem that good. Okay. Don't take that. Um, <clears throat> shadow Isles crest. Don't get baited. Okay. We're, we're playing challenger. We're not playing shadow Isles crest. You, I mean, you, you could say, okay, we have a Senna. We have a Kalista. You find the Gwen. We play for shadow Isle for challenger It's lit. The, 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 this shit is a high key, like bait a lot of times. Okay. Just, just, it's just Monka. Okay. So we took the challenger crest specifically because knowledge this is a knowledge, um, check challenger Senna is insane. Okay. Now it's a bit unfortunate. We have this challenger spat on, oh, sorry. We have Titans on Senna because that was supposed to go on, um, that, that, that Titans is supposed to go on Yasuo. So it's a bit awkward. But I think the Challenger Senna is so crazy that we we just use it, okay? Again, you're in the late game. You're just trying to um you're trying to be as strong as possible, okay? <laughs> I pressed E on accident. <laughs> that was not on purpose, okay? I fat finger. I don't even know what the fuck is going on there. I accidentally saw Callista. Don't worry about that. Um, <clears throat> you guys are like thinking, okay, this guy. How the fuck is this guy GM? Like he's actually a blithering idiot. Yeah, I, I I'm really bad at this game. But what does that make you guys? Like, actually, we're just all terrible at this game, okay? If I can be GM playing like this, you can be Challenger. Trust me, okay? Um, <clears throat> you just need better habits, okay? You just need to stack better habits. Okay, so here, we just lost. You just saw me lose, right? And you're not going to get... You, you're not going 8. You just uh, press D, okay? You need to press D until your board is good, okay? And then we're just pressing D. I really, we're holding our rally for our rally remake. D, 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 D. Okay, we were, what are we waiting for? Yasuo. Boom. Okay, and we play Yasuo over the Samira. 3 Iona is lit. And then now you can consider, okay, can I stop? Anytime you hit something important, ask yourself, can I stop? <clears throat> okay, if you're wondering why I saw the Shen over the Samira, um, and the Aurelia remake is because uh, somehow in the far, far future, random challenger spat is a challenger with Samira, but yeah, don't don't, don't worry about that. Um, not relevant, you should just sell that shit. I'm just pressing D. Oh, okay, I'm one off. Yasuo yeah, Kaisa, I should just D until I hit, right? <clears throat> you can stay above 10 if you want, but basically... We're, you're you're not like you're the, the important thing. If you learn anything from this replay, you're not going until your level seven is fixed. Okay, you are not going level eight until your level seven is fixed. So, okay, fast forward. Um, <clears throat> uh, well, you can watch this fight, I guess. Uh, we end up winning this fight. It doesn't matter. Um, for items here, trying to figure out how to kill this uh belt. So you can think like heal cut. You can think like another Yasuo item. In this case, um, you also think a unit. If your items are good, you can think of unit. So you can think of Aatrox here. Um, so in this case, uh, I mean, we don't, we don't, I mean, in this case, we ended up taking a spat. We have no choice. But this could be Challenger spat, right? Um, other spats you can use could be Juggernaut spat. Could be Ionia spat. Um, if you get a random Reforger, you can Reforge it. Um, and then we got the Hearth Home. So in this case, I looked up the stats and I just like, okay, Shoujin's highest win rate. So I just, I just pop Shoujin, okay? 
Um, here you're supposed to roll because we are one off Yasuo, one off Kaisa. So I don't know why I'm not rolling because you just made like two inches. Congrats. But you need Yasuo, Kaisa to play the game. You need one of Yasuo, Kaisa. Okay, I, I hit the Kaisa, so it's kind of kind of nice. So we're in the late game now. Now this is a nuance that you guys need to understand. Now if, when you're stable on seven, when you're finally strong, now you can consider going eight. And remember, when you consider pushing levels, you need to make interest big points, okay? So, a lot of you guys are probably going to disagree with me here, but uh, how do we make, how do we go level A here? What do you guys think I'm going to do? Now that we're stable, you watch this fight, Kai's is popping off. Senna, Challenger Senna is lit, right? You watch this fight, you're like, oh shit, I can definitely go A, right? Now, what do you need to do? Make interest break point. What do we do to do it? So this is Yasuo, okay? You guys are going to be like, what the fuck? It's a Yasuo pair. Isn't Yasuo core in your comp? Why the hell are we selling a Yasuo pair? Okay. <clears throat> you're going to see, you're going to see later. Okay, trust me for now. We sell Yasuo so that, oh shit, Sean, thank you for the raid. Wait, I got fucking raided by Sean. Uh, we're in the middle of making a YouTube video. Uh, educational YouTube video. But, um, okay, you guys are like, how, why, why would you sell this core piece of your comp for a 30 breakpoint interest when you're at 4-5. Okay, here's the reasoning, okay? Um, this Yasuo is actually irrelevant. Why? He is not... You tell you two star Yasuo with BT versus one star Yasuo with BT, no diff. Okay? That shit is not going to do anything until his items. Second, we're, what is our goal? What is our intention? We are trying to go level 8. And then after that, level 9. Because we are, we are really strong with this challenger uh, center, right? So how do we do that? We need money, right? And how do we how do we make money? We need to make 30 gold. How do we make 30 gold? The only thing you can do is sell this Yasuo, okay? Now, if this is Yasuo with three items, there is no universe we're selling a Yasuo pair. Agreed? But uh, because this Yasuo has no... Uh, he's basically just like stealing a paycheck right now. We, we're down to sell, okay? And you'll see later, it's actually very important. That that one gold makes one gold here. It makes one gold later. Like the the in the, the the money compounds, okay? It's not just one gold, it's like multiple gold, right? Because we need to rebuild our interest. And we're down to just natural Yasuo. Okay, so let's fast forward here. So like look, like look look at this. Like okay, this is another another big mistake you guys make. Okay, we naturally Yasuo back. And then this is another big mistake you guys make. Oh fuck it. I'm just gonna level and then play like a Oriana. Like, no, right? Like that doesn't make any sense. Like when when you're strong, again, when you're strong. Um, and you want to level like this is a mistake I did all the time You just want to press F because it's like late game and you're supposed to level right? So the question is is um, How much money are you losing by doing that and how much stronger are you getting? So we'll tackle the first question. How much stronger are you getting you increased your board strength by zero? Because there's literally nothing to put in you have literally nothing to put in okay, so you didn't get anything and then how much money did you lose? You lost 5 interest, which is 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 gold, okay? You lose infinite money, okay? <clears throat> so, um, uh, so uh, we have to uh, not uh, level and lose all our interest to make to put in nothing for the board. You're going to put a second Yasuo, it doesn't do anything. Okay, now we pop the Tome. We're looking for Challenger spat, obviously. We're going to play a Challenger if we can hit. We did not hit. Next uh, best spat, this is, this is, this is uh, Noxus. This is Slayer. Um... And then this is uh, Demacia, this is Ionia, this is Sork. Okay, obviously it can't be Sork, it can't be Demacia, and it can't be Noxus. And you guys are like, oh, you can play Slayer with Gwen. Okay, here's the other thing you guys, the other mistake you guys make. Where the fuck is your Gwen? I don't see a Gwen here, bro. Um, I don't see a Gwen here, bro. So we're, how are you making a Slayer spell on Yasuo? Does not make sense, okay? Don't do that shit. So here, what could actually make sense is Ionia spat. Ionia gives attack speed. Who on this board wants attack speed? Uh, Callista and Senna. So, uh, obviously here, um, we're going to take the Ionia Spat and make a Guard Breaker, right? Um, so, Ionia Spat, Senna. And then we make a Guard Breaker, Yasuo, right? <clears throat> and then now Yasuo is looking a little bit more uh, like a human being. But he still has no Edge of Nice, so still not, he's still a Paycheck Stealer, okay? Like, this shit just doesn't do anything. Like, without Edge of Knight and damage, he's not going to do anything, okay? So, that's why we sold... Like, like you remember, we sold the Yasuo pair earlier. And now I have 50 gold, okay? Remember this, remember this. Okay, and I have 60 gold. Fast forward. We're just gonna fast forward. Okay, I'm just gonna win every round or lose every round. Doesn't matter. We like we don't care about streak. Like okay, now we're in the late game. We do not care about streak. Something to remember because there's not there's no guarantee that you can force a win streak here. 
So if you level and lose 40 interest and roll 20 gold, there's no guarantee that you can keep a streak. So you cannot do that, okay? So we just keep our interest, keep our 50 gold, okay? <clears throat> um, you start panicking when you lose by a lot. So I lost by five units, low-key kind of panicking. But uh, we're like, okay, I can take a few more hits and then uh, level and roll down, right? <clears throat> probably go after the carousel here. Um, we probably, probably go after the carousel here. Oh yeah, I was typing. He had double rating items. That's pretty cool. It looks like a really strong affiliate. Um, okay, anyways, we found the Aurelia remake, so we can remake that. Put on set. Um, and then here, I'm just buying XP. On just don't just don't don't waste your XP. If you go on an off interval, something you guys might not understand. If you're like gold platinum or whatever, if you go on an off interval, so here, if you take a look, if you take a close look, we're going to. Um, it's not a perfect interval to level, and leveling costs four gold. So if you go, if you, if you level on an off interval and you don't go to like level nine, then you lost four gold. Okay. Does that make sense? <clears throat> anyways. Um, <clears throat> anyways, uh, item we're looking on carousel is we're looking for to complete our Yasuo item or because our items are good, we're looking for unit. Okay. So when your when your items are good, you look for unit. Okay. So item is either edge of night or unit or unit okay so let's fast forward let's, let's look at the carousel okay and i'm like okay any edge of night any edge of night people nope no edge of night okay and the reason why i'm not taking like a runons for yasuo or some shit that shit is literally like he's not gonna do shit without edge of night so i would just rather have him two two items get edge of night later than fill it up with some shitty like runons or something you know what i'm saying or shitty qss that's just a, that's not even an item i think <clears throat> okay anyways um we went for unit atrox is very good um, put in the Aatrox, so level. We have 50 gold. Now, again, how much money do I have to spend to get strong? Um, what can I even upgrade here, guys? I can find a random Shen 2. I have to find three Shens to replace Set. Um, or I roll for one unit, Yasuo, which doesn't even have Edge of Night. So, remember when I sold the Yasuo to make 30 gold so that we can go 8? This is this is the, the, the important part. Is Somehow, I'm 850 gold with 5-5. Five five. This is the part where... Uh, if you're like hard stuck master zero OP, this is like a nuance that you uh, an you know, uh, uh, issue you might be having is not making econ when you can in the late game. Okay. So, anyways, <clears throat> um, this death cap. Who does this death cap go on? And then there's only one AP user here, right? We just put on Callista. Um, and then we don't open this thing because uh, we could get like a random item or spat later. Oh, I actually do end up rolling for Yasuo. I'm like, I'm like, what am I rolling for? <laughs> I remember, I remember, I'm saying, what am I rolling for here? And then um, I think rolling is a mistake here. You should just sit above 50. Because I lost two econ to not improve my board. Agreed? You only you could only roll for one thing, which is Yasuo. Usually rolling for one unit is very bad unless you're giga desperate. So uh, rolling here was a mistake. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I was like, I don't know why I rolled there. You should just roll above 50 and then try and go 9, right? Because all you can hit is a Yasuo 2 at that point to improve your board. Correct? So I actually lost two econ there. That was really troll. Um... I got a, I got I got a center though, which is kind of cool. Oh, okay, natural my Yasuo finally, and then now we're like, okay, now we have to. Uh, I mean, this is just whole Kalista for like random Kalista three. That's not gonna happen. Now we're like, okay, now how do we improve board? Now we need to go nine or roll down for what? Uh, Kaisa three, Yasuo three, Senna two, Kalista three. Are any of those realistic? <laughs> yeah, I have no Kaisa copies, no Yasuo copies. Four out of nine Kalista. And uh, the only realistic thing is a random center, okay? So here, your choice is go 9, or you must uh, roll for random center. So uh, that's that's your prerogative right now to figure that out. So here, uh, you're always going to try and go 9. You lose, and you're 1 HP. Fuck it, roll down. I'm down. <clears throat> In terms of positioning, um, for challengers, you're just trying to kill something fast so they can reset. The challengers can reset and get the... Um, the bonus uh, attack speed, right? So I have everyone aim the shitty frontline units, okay? Um, and in this case, uh, shitty frontline unit was uh, the left side, okay? So we should, if you want to do positioning, use your scout and have all your important challenges hit the left side, okay? Also, watch Yasuo here. This is what Yasuo does with the Knight. Imagine he has runons. He runons a QSS here. Just watch this. He'll just like tank aggro after work dies and then immediately die. Check it out. His game beamed, instantly died, okay? Runons, QSS, no diff. You will runons QSS, no item, no diff, okay? You need to wait for the edge of night, straight up. <clears throat> okay, anyways, uh, we high roll to Senna, which is uh, letting us go 9. Uh, but as you can see, this game is already a top 4, okay? So if you can play like this, uh, you are top 4 every single game, go play diamond, okay? That's the, the uh, that's like a takeaway here, okay? Is how we, how we got to this point. And even though we're 4 loss here, uh, I have like infinite money, right? 
<clears throat> which means uh, I I can I can go down here. Oh, this I see this guy is um looking for Urga three zero three. <laughs> so if you see those, you should rat him. Okay, so make fifty. You guys know how to do this. Uh, make an item, and then you're like, okay, this is the Edge of Night that we were talking about. We need we need the Yasuo item. Perfect. And then uh, now, remember remember how we sold that Yasuo? I, I, I'm going to keep bringing this up because uh, every every single one of you, including myself, when I was Masters, uh, is going to be like, why the fuck did you sell Yasuo Pair? This is exactly the reason why. That Yasuo Pair was actually so irrelevant with just a BT, right? And then now I I'm actually have enough money to go nine because of it. Okay, I low key high road a, a Senna too as well, right? But also low road challenger spat. Again, it's not just high it's not just high roll everything. Like I could have had a challenger spat be playing a challenger here. Agreed. So yeah. <clears throat> anyways, um. Anyways, um. So yeah, now you you have nothing to roll for, so don't roll above fifty. Don't don't roll down. There's literally nothing to roll for. Um. And then with this this money, we're gonna go nine. Check it out. Okay, we're just gonna hold like random units. I mean, you can hold Yasuo if you want. Yasuo three, haha. Um, I'm not even considering Yasuo three, um, but you should hold Yasuo. Uh, and then I'm like, okay, we're trying to go nine here, and you'll notice that I barely have enough money to go nine and roll. Okay, so here we're just gonna keep chilling until we probably lose a round. Or yeah, we were like, we we're like trying to see if I can um, you just you just you just stack this fifty gold interest every round until you lose, and then you send it right. And then for item off carousel, um, you can think you can like pre-plan like who 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 who's coming in next. Um, not exactly sure. All our items are full. You don't really want to make a Callista item. It's like not really relevant anymore, right? Uh, so you're just trying to look for unit, right? If items are good. Um, so we're looking for unit here. Obviously, you should pause the video and be like, okay, what unit looks good here? Because remember, if items are good, we look for unit. Okay, so obviously Aatrox pair into Aatrox 2 star, 2 star Aatrox, very good. And then level and roll, right? So here, uh, we're going to level and roll and kill this guy. So here, we're going to roll for literally any legendary that we can use. I'm down for Scion. I'm, down, I'm not really down for Belved, no items. Okay, that shit kind of sucks. Um, trying to find like uh, the Shen for the uh, Shen 2 over set. You can, you can do that too. Uh, in this case, uh, it's probably correct to just sell all this garbage and roll for the Aatrox 2. Um, because it's very important to hit. Um, but yeah, I, I did not. I should probably do that. That's a, uh, that's why I'm stuck GM and not challenger. Low key. Fucking sell this, sell all this shit. Aatrox 2. Kill this guy. Don't let him come back. Um, don't let him have a chance to come back in the game, right? You can watch this fight. Um, you can watch this fight if you want. It's kind of fun. Challengers is pretty fun. You guys should try challengers if you want. Just know that, uh, it's a tempo comp. You need combat augments. And that if you have a Challenger Spat, Challenger Spat, Senna, Heimer, Aatrox are all insane. Okay? That's the main stuff. And then know if you want to play for Streak or not play for Streak. Uh, we found the Shen. Uh, we, we checked the Rise here. Actually, I did a little bit of testing here. Does Rise cast in time before the fight is over? Oh, yeah. Velvet, no items. Dog shit. Okay? So is Kalista. I don't know why we're holding this. Uh, we're, just, we're just rolling for this. We're just rolling for this Aatrox. Okay? Um... You're one off. You're very strong. If you hit, you just roll. I, I was testing um, to see if Invoker Rise will cast fast enough in a Challenger comp, and it in fact did. But then this is Frailer Rise. He like randomly targets and shows people. I I don't even know what he did here. Like let, let's take a look here. Did he? I don't even know who he chilled. I wanted him to chill um, the backline. I, I don't even know what he did. Did he, did he? Did he even do anything? He like didn't even do anything. I don't even know. Um, so maybe good, maybe bad. If this is like the the Shadow Isles rise, probably insane. But you should, you should probably play the uh, play the uh, Scion here. So yeah, I, I beat this guy. We went top one, and there were like a thousand things I did wrong this game, but there were also a thousand things you can probably take away from this game in order to um, change your gameplay and improve your gameplay. Okay, so hopefully you guys can reproduce how I went from this opener. Okay, how I went from this opener, griefing 2-1 into 4 win streak, into a first. Okay, and the if, if there's any takeaway and you're stuck, okay, let's say you're stuck like gold plat, items determine your comp. Okay, and then when you hit something important, like a Kai'Sa, you can commit. Okay, is there certain items plus unit equals commit. Okay, uh, if you're stuck masters, press D on level 7. You are not going level 8 until you're strong. Agreed? And then if you are stuck masters again, uh, uh, I think we usually take a look at selling Yasuo and um, learning knowledge diff. The challenger sun is important. Okay. Anyways, thank you for watching. Um, I will see you guys next time. And uh, if you guys are, uh, if you guys have questions, you can always ask on YouTube slash um, hit me up on stream. Okay. Um, sorry this video is long again, but uh, hopefully it was uh, helped you guys.